Okay, good day guys again. Good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. These are free and easy ways to support the channel. So guys, now and you know as always, man, you know it goes without saying, but we still want to say it, you know, we do appreciate the support. So, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the major talking points, right? Now that the group stage of the CONCACAF Gold Cup is complete, the major talking points from my perspective, right? Now that the, the championship, the, the, the championship group stage is now complete, right? So, the very first talking point that I wanted, and this is from our perspective, right? From a reggae boy standpoint. The very first thing I want to talk about is the defensive solidness, right? That's the very first major talking point, especially with the center backs. Yo, the man that might keep out everything, man. The center backs for us in this tournament, for the most part, um, our center back pairing has been low and more. They have been very, very, very good for us in this tournament. They haven't put a foot wrong, to be honest with you. I literally can't remember a player where I, I can say to myself, I saw a low or more put a foot wrong, right? So that's the very first talking point, right? The second talking point, clinicalness or the lack thereof. A whole heap of goal with Asher in this tournament, in the tournament group stages in a guys. A whole heap of goal, the main culprit right the individual know himself is a player that i respect right good player with with tremendous upside but him know himself a whole heap of goal with that in the in the group stages whole heap right if oh if we had con if we had converted many of those chances from the the the, the first and especially the second game right and obviously the third game we'd have topped the group right but especially if we had converted our chances in especially the, the first two games, our goal difference would have been much higher. So we would have come into this Costa Rica game only needing a draw, right? And I, I think our goal difference was the same with them, if memory serves right, but they had scored like a goal more, right? So if we had scored those goals, man, trust me, we would have been, you know, we would have been a much, com we would have been more comfortable going into the, into the, the Costa Rica game. We only needed a draw to top the group. So that's another thing. Right, we miss our, our our strikers missed a lot in the group stages. Midfield problems is another talking point in this in this tournament for us. Midfield problems, right? In the first two games, you know, many people are having issues with the, the fluidity of the team or the lack thereof. You know, we see our boys are playing in a makeshift number 10 sort of role. Right, I mean, Boza is not a creative option, right? Um, you know, people having problem with the tempo and the intensity, right? Midfield not, you know, um, stringing enough passes together on a consistent basis, you know, and all of that sort of stuff, and you know, controlling the game, controlling the tempo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and also in some for some parts of it to um, composure on the ball, so to speak, right? So, and, and just basically the main issue with our midfield has been the fluidity or the lack thereof, right? And also the, the, the slow pace of play, right? And the lack of intensity, right? So those were the midfield problems that we had in this tournament, right? That was another talking point. Another talking point for me is the midfield solutions. That we would have found in Speedy Williams and Tyreek McGee in this third game, where Speedy was doing it from the first game as a substitute, but he started in this particular um, football game, right? And you know, as I said, man, connectivity was an issue. You know, fluidity was an issue. Um, you know, he, um, pace of play was an issue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Boy, trust me, man. Guys, the way the midfield look in the Costa Rica game, man. Man, they look good. It look like we find the problem, the solution to our midfield um problems. So that's another 
talking point for me as well. Another talking point, big keeper, right? The flying Jamaican Andre Blake, he wasn't called a lot in the group stages. But, you know, don't, don't let that fool you guys, trust me. Blake came up with some big, big saves. That save against Guadeloupe, that's arguably going to be when this competition is finished. The save of the tournament wasn't called upon a lot, but whenever he was called, he answered the call. So that's another major talking point as well. Guys, another major talking point. The poster boy needs to step up. The poster boy not only have the Jamaican reggae boys team, but have the tournament. And I realize when Bailey up on the bench, you know, a whole heap of times the camera you know, went on him, you know, to see what he was doing on the bench, you know. Because the man is the star of the tournament. He's the biggest name in the tournament. Right, the most recognized, the most well-known name in the tournament. The poster boy needs to step up. Even when the man are play, only per time they must show his wife and child on screen in the stands. Right, the man is the star of the tournament. The poster boy needs to step up. Right, that is another talking point of the tournament so far. We know what Bailey can do. Right, we would appreciate it if he were to arrive at the party for us in this respective tournament, right? Um, another talking point for me is that Burke, Corey Burke is our best centre forward in this tournament. No doubt about it. Corey Burke, every time the man touched the field, man, the man just, he plays with a, with a level of aggression, very direct in his play, very versatile player, can be a wide option, we saw that in Costa Rica, he was, you know, drifting into wide spaces and causing problems, right? Very clinical as well, right? Trust me, man. His it, 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 work rate, his work ethic, right? The amount of goal the man lay upon a platter for some other um, center forwards or other players, right? Corey Burke has been a monster. Remember, I'm talking before the tournament, you know, guys. Corey Burke is a monster who imposes himself on the game. And that is exactly what Burke has done in this tournament. Very well-rounded center forward. Very, very technically good center forward. The man is a beast. I respect him highly. Corey Burke, our best center forward in this Gold Cup um, squad. Burke Bali. Another major talking point. Another major talking point, individual brilliance. Especially the first two games, individual brilliance and not necessarily the way we played was what got us through and got us victories in those two games. Individual brilliance has been a major talking point for us in this tournament, right? Um, Flemers goal, Poza's goal, Bobby D. Cardova reads goal. Perk's goal, right? Especially Reed and, and, and Flemmer's goal. Those are contenders for goal of the tournament in a man. Individual brilliance got us over the line in the first two games, right? Um, another major talking point, we touched on it in terms of midfield solutions, but I want to speak about these players individually. One, one, I have been thoroughly impressed by... Devon Speed Williams. I apologize to him in another video because I was one of those who didn't want him to make the final 23. Guys, Devon Speedy Williams is absolutely balling. Let's be real. Right? Whatever you want to think of the, the, the USL player, guys, Speedy is, has been balling in the group stages for the reggae boys. Right? Passing accuracy. Very high. This man does not misplace passes, ladies and gentlemen. The man no misplace passes, people. Composure upon a ball. Right? Up the tempo of the game. Dictate and control the man has been a midfield maestro. And a midfield general. Trust me, man. When we see how the man composed upon the ball in very tight spaces in this Costa Rica game. Trust me, man. Trust me. To evade that high-intense 
press from the Costa Ricans. Trust me, man. Devon Williams, very good, right? Um, Tyree McGee is another talking point of the group stages. One, his absence, and two, his inclusion. For starters, we were saying, how we not see the baller? We want to see what he looks like. How tough and now get the baller a run? Boom. Tyreek McGee dropping at the tournament now against Costa Rica. Tyreek McGee did very well. Composure on the ball in tight space is very good on the half turn. Right? Linked the play very well. He was a passing option for, 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 for a number of players in attack. He was, he was just the glue, so to speak, in my opinion. Right? That helped the team from a fluidity standpoint. Right? Tyreek McGee. Very good for us against Costa Rica. His performance against Costa Rica, a talking point, right? So, so that's another talking point for us in this group stage. And guys, you guys can put your talking points in the in the in the comments below as well if you guys think that I missed anything. Another talking point, right? We looked better with each game we played. So the Suriname game, in my opinion, was poor, right? We looked. There were slight improvements in the Guadalupe game, the Costa Rica game. Such a damn shame we lost that one, man. We balled. We did very well. So we have improved with every passing game, right? Another talking point. Another talking point is that we emerged from arguably the group of death. Arguably the toughest group of the tournament. We emerged from it. Some, there's some debate, you know, as to the Canada, USA, Haiti group. That might also be, might also have been the group of that as well. That is a fair point. But I personally think that Guadeloupe is better than Martinique, and that's why I give us the edge, right? Top of substitutions, or the lack thereof, has been another major talking point in this group stages for us. Some people say top and get him subs right. Well, if people say that, or him take too long to make the subs. They have been, for the most part, I don't think his substitutions have been bad. You know what I don't like about people? When the man bring on Speed Williams in the first two games, and Burke in the first game, and Flemmer in the second game, people don't hail those, those, those changes as very good changes. And both times, those changes were absolutely necessary at that particular point in time. People not praise the man for them, the substitution, the right? But the ones of them where them where they went that he got what that they think he got wrong, right? Them blast the man. Them blast the man. Right? And and make it look like say oh the man is a terrible coach. Right? Them don't praise the man for the good subs, but blast him for the bad one. Right. Um, I agree. Um Nicholson, you know, should have come off earlier. You know, people have said how oh, Turgot in that um, Guadeloupe game come off and Bailey never come off, right? That was a talking point. And obviously, especially in the Suriname game, people thought that there was a point in time where the game needed Tyreek McGee, right? So Theodore Tapper, Whitmore's um, substitutions or the lack thereof, you know, has been also another major, major talking point for us in this particular tournament another major talking point was the lack of intensity that we played with especially in the first game a lot of people had issues with that and took issues with that particular um with that particular issue another major talking point michael hector some people said the man play good some people said the man play bad Michael Hector continuing to be a very, a very polarizing figure in Jamaica's football. So, guys, those are the major talking points that I would have taken note of in this Gold Cup group stages from a reggae boy standpoint. You know, we have qualified for the, 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 the second round. By the way, by the way, another major talking point before I, I end. The team looked absolutely good against Costa Rica. We balled Costa Rica, and it was a heartbreaking um, defeat because we should have won the game, right? So, you know, guys, that's my two cents 
and group stage talking points. Stay safe, guys. Hopefully, we can do very well in the knockout stages and progress from the quarterfinals and from the semis and, you know, win the finals. So, guys, wishing the reggae boys the best of luck going forward in this tournament. So, take care and stay safe, guys.